an ecosystem of products from a brand that work fluidly and cohesively with each other, providing its users with a seamless experience that will keep those users logged in and stay faithful towards the brand and also, you know, keep spending more money into the brand by buying more of their products. Such a dream of an ecosystem is best achieved by none other than Apple, the famous Apple ecosystem that a lot of people swear by. And a lot of other brands have tried to replicate Apple's success but has failed. And there are many reasons for that. We won't discuss those in this video. However, no matter how good the Apple ecosystem is, I have a big problem with it. A huge one. You see, when you buy an Apple iPhone or an Apple iPad, a decent one which can cost you quite a lot of money, you quickly realize that using them as a standalone product has a lot of limitations. In order to unlock its full potential or full functionality like file exchange, file access and management and all those things, you need to invest into another pretty expensive Apple product. For example, like an Apple MacBook. It's not just the proprietary hardware, but the whole software that works through these devices is so closed and logged in that it curbs the freedom of the user. And for a powered user like me who uses, you know, products and gadgets from multiple different brands, which are, you know, let's say best in their price category, or I simply prefer those over Apple's versions, you just have to say goodbye to all of them. You just have to buy Apple and stay in their locked walled garden and just forget everything else, which is just not possible for me. And also after buying an Apple product, you are at the mercy of Apple with what you can do on your product. If, if something is not allowed by Apple, it's probably that you can never do it on your Apple product. This is where Android and Windows comes in. Both pieces of software a lot more open-ended when compared to iOS, iPadOS or macOS. You buy an Android phone and you are in full control of the phone. You are almost like the admin. You have full access to all the files of your phone. Let's say now you want to share those files with another PC or computer. If you just plug your phone to any Windows PC or any Linux PC and you, your phone just appears like a simple USB drive and you have full access to your phone. And then if you want to share those files from your Android phone to another Android phone from a different brand, because Android cannot be tied to a brand, right? So if you want to share your files from your Android phone to another Android phone from a different brand, you can simply use nearby share, just as simple as that. External accessories like different types of docks, cables, capture cards, game controllers, you name it. Most of them have a much wider compatibility with Android and Windows than it is with Apple products. It is just an ideological difference at the tech level between, you know, Apple and other brands. You have tight, closed operating systems, which is very seamless and, you know, a garden of sort, but a walled garden. On the other hand, you've got things like Android and Windows, which is not as seamless. However, a lot more open and allows you to do anything you want. So it's an ideological difference. And I support the open ended ideology. And this is where for people like me and many others, the Windows and Android ecosystem is very important. And the brand that has worked the most and developed a pretty robust yet open-ended experience with Windows is Samsung. So in this video, we'll explore some of the Samsung, Windows, Android ecosystem features. Hey guys, it's Ziptesh and you're watching the Tech Station 365. And if you're new to the channel, then come on guys, hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications. Let's reach 1000 subscribers as soon as possible. All right then, here are some cool Samsung Windows Android ecosystem features. Let's go. Okay, so first of all, personally, I own the Galaxy S20 FE 5G phone, the Galaxy Tab S6 Lite tablet, and the Galaxy Watch 4. I don't have any Samsung earbuds or a Samsung Windows laptop or Samsung Smart TV and other products. However, I do have an Acer Predator Helios 300 gaming laptop from 2018. So let's start with some ecosystem features within Samsung's Android products. Make sure you're logged into the same Samsung account across all your devices. All right, let's start with the most basic thing that is call and text across multiple devices. So this is my Galaxy Tab S6 Lite non LTE variant, but I can make calls on it via my phone using Wi-Fi. So check this out. I'm making a call from my tablet to my sister. And here you can see I'm accepting the call. And now I can talk on my tablet or I can switch the call between all three of my devices. Here I'm pulling the call to my watch. And now I'm pulling the call to my phone where I can switch to my Sony Bluetooth earbuds. And finally, I'm back to my tablet. Now, just like calls, we can also send SMS messages from any of these three devices. So here I'm sending a text message to my sister from my watch. And you can see the message appears on my phone and the tablet at the same time. 
and here I'm sending a message back from my sister's Moto G40 Fusion phone and here you can see the message appears on all of my three devices. Pretty seamless. Next we have the ability to control media on your phone through your watch. Now there are other features which are shared between the watch and the phone but we'll not talk about it in this video. Next up we got Samsung Quick Share which is an alternative to Android's nearby share but only for Samsung phones. It works exactly like nearby share but you don't need to approve the incoming file request when your Samsung device is unlocked. In nearby share you always have to approve the incoming file request no matter what. Otherwise it performs exactly like nearby share and speed depends on your Wi-Fi. QuickShare also officially works with your Samsung Windows laptop. Next up we got Samsung Flow which is an awesome application that works both on Android and Windows and provides some tight integration between the devices. So you have to register your Samsung phone on the Samsung Flow application installed on your Galaxy tablet and then you'll be able to connect your phone to the tablet via Samsung Flow and that unlocks some great features. So you can obviously do simple stuff like share files between the devices back and forth seamlessly and you can also see your activity in this simple thread-like format. For example, here I'm sharing a couple of video files through Samsung Flow and the tablet will receive them and show up in this thread. You can also share simple text or even sync your clipboard. However, the best feature of Samsung Flow is remote access to your phone via screen mirroring. Yes, with the click of a button, you can mirror your phone's screen onto your tablet for full remote access. So once you allow access to your phone, you can always remote into your phone and mostly do whatever you normally do on your phone until the next time you reconnect when you again need to allow access. You can resize the window or minimize it into a bubble. And check this out, you are also able to transfer files from your phone to your tablet simply by dragging your selected files from your mirrored phone and dropping it into the file manager of your tablet in your location of choice. That's amazing. Next up is simple feature like clipboard sharing with the stock Samsung keyboard and it's just what the name suggests. Here you can see I'm able to copy and paste text across my devices back and forth. Moving on we have another cool feature which is app continuity. Now this is a new feature and it works only with Samsung Notes and Samsung Internet Browser. So you have to enable this feature in the advanced settings and then let's say, say you are researching something on your phone and now you want to open that on your large display on your tablet. All you have to do is click on the recents button and you'll get a pop-up saying continue from your phone and you'll be able to continue your browsing session from your phone to your large screen tablet. Also this works both ways. Lastly, we got music share and it's pretty cool as this works with any third party Bluetooth speaker or earbud. So check this out. Here I'm connecting my Sony WFC 500 truly wireless earbuds to my phone and coming to my tablet, I'm able to connect my earbuds via my phone using music share, even though this particular earbud doesn't support multi device pairing. So here I'm placing music on my phone and it's normal. And then I'm playing music on my tablet and I can go back and forth easily. Now there are other features that you can unlock if you have other Samsung products like Samsung earbuds, Samsung smart TV, Samsung Windows laptop, but I don't have those. But as I've said earlier, Samsung has worked with Windows quite a lot to create some general purpose, nice applications that create a tight integration between Samsung devices and any other Windows laptop from any other brand. So let's explore some Samsung Galaxy ecosystem features with non-Samsung Windows products. In my case, it's an Acer Helios 300 gaming laptop. So here I have the Galaxy Tab S6 Lite and I can use it as a secondary monitor with any Windows computer of any brand. Apple has a similar feature called Sidecar, which again only works with the MacBook. It's a wireless connection, so there is latency. However, 
If you have a 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi in the same room, the latency is reduced by a lot. Samsung, please provide a wired option for Smart View. There is a third-party app called Super Display, which supports wired connection and full S Pen input. Can take a look at that. It's a fantastic app. Also, guys, if you want to know how I was able to enable this Tab S6 Lite to be used as a secondary monitor, because this feature is not enabled by default and you won't find it easily in this tablet. So if you want to know how I was able to use it, then take a look at the instructions in the description box of this video. Now there are many ways to connect your Samsung phone to your PC aside from simple USB connection like any other Android phone. So you got wireless DeX, Samsung Flow and Microsoft Your Phone or Phone Link app which has special features just for Samsung phones. So let's start with Samsung DeX. Just install the Windows DeX application on your laptop or Windows device and toggle on DeX. Make sure to be on the same Wi-Fi as the phone and you'll get a pop-up and you can start wireless DeX and that's it. It's just DeX. You have full access to your phone. You can open apps, interact with notifications, send files back and forth and everything else that you normally do on your phone. Wireless DeX is best when you have a multi-monitor setup so that you can keep DeX always open in one of the monitors if you are frequently accessing your phone via your laptop. Next up we got Samsung Flow and it functions exactly like it does on your Galaxy tablet. You will get phone notifications on your Windows PC. You can share files directly from your Windows Explorer file sharing dialog box. And you also have full remote access to your phone via screen mirroring. And finally, we have Microsoft's Phone Link app, formerly known as Your Phone app. Now, the Phone Link app unlocks a lot of features that are exclusive to Samsung phones. To use this, simply enable Your Phone app on your Samsung phone and log in to your Microsoft account. Then you'll be able to connect your PC to your phone and this enables a tight integration. So what can you do with this app? Let's start with some basic things like call and text. So you can now receive and make phone calls directly from your Windows PC laptop. Check this out. Similarly, you can send and receive text messages straight from your laptop. Next, we got notifications. You can control which notifications can or cannot appear on your Windows laptop. And along with it comes another exclusive feature. That is, you can wish to open those notifications straight on your Windows laptop via screen mirroring. Yes, only when using a Samsung phone can you get app access via screen mirroring on your laptop. Or once again, you can simply mirror the whole device and get full remote access. You can also share your clipboard between your Windows PC and Samsung phone. So you can copy something on your PC and paste it on your phone or vice versa. And finally, you have the gallery which will let you import photos from your phone to your laptop. I don't use this feature as there are other better means to view your gallery like wireless decks. Now again, you get a lot more features if you are using a Samsung Windows laptop. However, I'm not a big fan of Samsung Windows laptops because they don't use AMD processors and also they don't have laptops with dedicated NVIDIA GPUs. So it's, it's, it's a different type of laptop segment that I am not into. So it is what it is. So that's all about those ecosystem features that you can enjoy without spending a huge amount of money. I mean, 38,000 rupees for a Galaxy S20 FE 5G. It's a great and complete phone. I've reviewed it. 13,000 rupees for an awesome smartwatch, a flagship level smartwatch like the Galaxy Watch 4. 28,000 rupees for a Galaxy Tab S6 Lite, or you can even buy lower, cheaper tablets. And basically, you can have any other third-party earphone for Samsung Music Share feature. And also, you can use any other Windows laptop from any other brand for these features that I showed in the video. So a pretty robust and seamless experience, yet quite open at the same time and without spending a huge amount of money, especially when compared to Apple. So that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, then please consider subscribing and turning on notifications. Take care and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.